Charles drives a Miata. He's got other vehicles too, but you know that's a fun little car he owns. And uh, today I wanted to get some uh, some Mazda drivers out here to drive the new RF MX-5 for the first time and get his reaction. So let's go ahead and get the ball rolling right now. First off, the seatbelt is much easier to use. Really? <laughs> yeah. So easier to buckle it and all that. Oh yeah. power. Yep, not bad. Six speed manual. Rides good. It uh don't frame you around a lot. Let's mm -hmm. See what it does on this curve right here. Yeah, these are nice little oh, yeah. curves right here to kind of go around, feel the suspension. And uh and this is a good spot to do like a turning radius on it. So rear wheel drive, correct? Yes, sir. Yep, all Miatas always have been rear wheel drive. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yep. Indes independent suspension. That's why they handle so good. Let's give this thing a yeah, go for it. Top turn, and the turn radius is great. It didn't take none of that away. Yeah, I think the turn radius is nice on it. Let's see. Seat's good. Yeah. Even though. It is leather, but it's nice and soft. Right. It ain't trying to cut me or scratch me or anything like that. Shifts easy. Feel the power, man. Feels pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah. When we was going down the road, <clears throat> there was hardly any wind really piling in on you. Or anything like that. Uh, I mean, it just feels like you got like you're in your typical car, and you have the windows down. I mean, I ain't really getting any of that bad headwind or nothing. Ah, I know. I'd say it gets up and goes. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Shifts. Oh, it shifts so smooth. It does. Really yeah. Really smooth. We just got passed by a uh, Mini Cooper. I'm sure this car will probably smoke the socks off that one. Uh, Who knows, right? Maybe. This definitely has more power than the factory, like, 93 Miata. Uh-huh. So power feels good. Oh, yeah. Definitely is a lot more than the 93. How's that churning feel? It's actually pretty tight. Yeah. It felt really loose in the parking lot, but now driving on the street, got a bit tighter. Feels good. So what do you think about the wind? I mean, it is a little windy day. I mean, you can hear the wind, but really I don't feel that much compared to the full, mm -hmm. like, soft top off. Okay. It's a nice night for a test drive. Yeah. It still has a good bit of body roll uh, uh -huh. compared to the 93, but it's definitely better. Just take a little figure eight just to yeah. see how it feels. Not bad. Not bad, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, folks on the road back here, they do a lot of figure eights back here. It's a little underpowered for the next step up for me. Mm -hmm. Because my Miata right now makes about 175 horsepower. And the feeling of boost, it just can't really compare it to naturally aspirated cars. Now, now what, but what if you bought this and put turbo on it? That would be really nice, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, 
I've wanted to try a V8, and I haven't had one yet. Mm. So. so that might be the next thing for you. Yeah. All right, everybody, we're in the car with Richard. What's up, Richard? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. Now, tell us, you drive a Miata. What uh, what year, model, and some specs do you have to your current current car? I drive a uh, 1990 Mazda Miata. Uh, it's got a 1.6 liter motor. It's got a Jackson Racing cold air intake, HKS header, and an ISR exhaust. Nice. There you go. So, some good stuff there. And uh, now, will this be your first time driving this particular model right here? This is the first time driving the RF. I've driven the regular new ND Miata, but not, uh -huh. not the RF model. All right, let's do it. Right. Take us for a ride, Richard. How's your car manual now? Mm -hmm. So, is manual pretty much the way to go if you're going to get a Miata? Absolutely. <laughs> so, what's your advice to these people buying the uh, paddle shifter version? Um, Learn to drive a stick. If you haven't, right. Now's a good time. It's never too late to learn. <laughs> and that's right. And uh, Richard knows how to drive a Miata, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, man. So, uh, Richard, how long have you been a Mazda driver now? I bought my Miata September of 2014, so okay. going on three years this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's fun. It's nice. This is a this is a hell of a car. And you can feel confident going around those corners, can't you? Absolutely. It's very planted. Yeah, man. What do you think about the wind up here and all that going on? It's quiet. My car is much louder. We can have a, uh, this conversation. Really? Okay. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's it's very quiet. I'm sure it's, it's probably a little different at highway speeds. Um, but this is nice. All right, everybody, we're back at the Mazda store. Richard uh, just did a wild one on me down there, and uh, I had a hell of a reaction for myself, but what do you think? Um, it's uh, it's really nice. I feel like it's a very nice engineered automobile. Awesome. Um, and Mazda knew what they were doing when they, when they built this. Yeah, they sure did, man. Now, earlier we were sitting here kind of talking, waiting on our camera guy to get down there. Uh, you talk about this a little bit, how you explained this earlier, because this doesn't go down or, or move out the way at all. Okay, yeah. Um, this doesn't move out the way, which is, um, I thought it'd be a bigger deal than it is. It's not because they, they keep it low profile with the rest of the dashboard. You can see what's happening over that fender. Um, so it's not, so it's not too much in the way. It's not it's, stopping it's your. It's not too much. I feel like I feel like they they could have went the extra step and had it come up and down. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it's not you know it's it's not too big and and protruding. Now one quick steering wheel. What do you think about how that feels with the leather wrap and? Um, very nice. I, I have a Momo race wheel in my car, and this is this is very nice. And this so you can control the car just fine right there. Oh yeah. Now mentioned earlier, you uh, when we went down there, we didn't get this on camera, guys, but uh, he did a little 360 with us for a second, and <laughs> tell you took the traction control off, and that's mm -hmm. what made the magic seem to happen. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. Um, how did it feel when you did that and you took the traction control off? Um, the the traction control, I, I feel like it, it is kind of limited with uh, with the traction control on. Um, but it keep the car kind of stable though when it on, right? It does keep it a lot more stable in the corners and we took it off um, and went back through that last time. The, the car was a, a little more loose, but I also noticed a uh, much higher exit speed through the corner. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's so if you take the traction control off, it's going to probably get up and roll out a little faster going around corners and I guess anything really, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Absolutely. that was cool, man. Have you driven the new body style on the Miata yet? Nope, I have never driven a Miata in my life. Cool, so it's the first time tonight? Yep, it's going to be a new experience for me. Awesome, man. How'd you find out about this tonight? I saw a Facebook post and I figured out I'm not doing anything else tonight. That's why we can check it out. <laughs> there you go. That's how we communicate, folks. Facebook. That's right, on these groups and everything. All right, everybody. We got Sam in here with us. What's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> so, um, now, are you from Charleston? Uh, no, I'm originally from California. Really? What brought you to uh, the South Carolina area? Oh, uh, I joined the Navy, got stationed here. Okay, so you are uh, in the weapon station? Yeah. I'm cool. Weapon station. Awesome, man. And everybody, this is Sam's first time driving the MX-5 RF. Yeah. Well, the interior is like, 
pretty amazing for nice. Probably how inexpensive this car is. Yeah. Yeah, fit and finish is nice. Um, yeah, the headlights will pivot and move around, I guess, to get in position for you. Oh, you yeah, go right and then another left, and then we'll go down this side road right here. Right. Yeah, and then it just kind of caught me sack back here, yeah, so it... Noise is actually not that bad. Like I can't feel my hair getting blown around or anything. Right. Like that. And you're about what well, about six foot tall? Uh, six one, something like that. Right. Yeah, it's nicely laid out. I like how the tack is front and center, and you mm -hmm. have. Let's see what else. That's a really close. That's a really clear. Uh, yeah, it's like a digital yeah. gauge over there. Yeah, that's pretty Let's nice. See. All right, we're gonna try the top, guys, real quick, and just see uh, how quick this thing goes. And uh, yeah, that's interesting. To see how it sounds with the top. So we got something going on right now. And, uh, oh, you got, so the E-brakes up mm -hmm. when you do the top. It's in neutral. Neutral. And then you press that, maybe, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it should take about 15 seconds usually. It's pretty quick. Oh. Yeah, just hold it, there you go. Now how's headroom feel now with the top? I mean, my head's kind of running into it, but it's really yeah. not that bad. Not too bad. Yeah, mine's touching just a little bit, but not, yeah, not a whole lot. Now, if you were like 6'5", that'd be a problem. Yeah, that would be a problem. Yeah. So, guys, if you're over 6'3", 6'5", <laughs> just keep the top down. Just so we can hear it. All right, so now we're uh, y'all can hear the engine and everything while the top's up. I'm surprised how much noise that cuts down with the top. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you know, I mean, you know, everyone talks about how, like, the hard top adds a bunch of weight and, like, mm -hmm. and, like kind of messes with the driving dynamics, but, you know, if, if, if you're daily in the thing and, you know, and, you know, you're dealing with traffic and stuff like that, like, like, this might be worth it, I, I'd say. For the noise reduction and... And, and the comfort. Right. So Sam, tell us real quick, what did you think about riding, man? I want one. He wants one now. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? That's cool. That's the car right there sitting behind us. Chris is driving in it. I think that's it. Yeah. Cool. I mean, honestly, if I were to get a Miata, I'd, I'd probably go for the soft top just because I'd want that extra driving dynamics. Yeah. But the hard top does not suck. It's pretty cool. So. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks. What do you think of the headlights on there? Don't they look pretty cool? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the, how they have that little LED kind of strip right in the front there. Yeah. And then, yeah, and on the bottom, that looks pretty sweet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, it looks good. All right, man, give us give us your reaction. Like oh my God, it was amazing. Really? Yeah, yeah it really? was crazy. It just handles and turns perfectly, and the way the headlights just turn, yeah. that's awesome. Awesome, man. I love it. Cool. Well, thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you for letting me drive it. Now, let's see. What was her opinion? What do you <laughs> What do you think? Well, you'll definitely get a girlfriend if you have this car. <laughs> <laughs> I got a <laughs> Now, uh, your fiance said y'all are from Chicago, is that yes, right? Sir. And uh, so, what she, she says she still likes the fast-paced world a little bit more. <laughs> it's a little slow down here, right? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, what part of Charleston did y'all uh, decide on? Um, we're just in North Charleston. North right? Charleston? Yeah. Right, because you're Navy, right? Yeah. Okay, are y'all on the weapon station? You want Navy? Okay, yeah. cool. Now, what kind of car do you drive currently? I drive a 07 Eclipse. Eclipse? Now, would this be a, a, a car you would consider possibly purchasing somewhere down the road, maybe? Definitely. Cool. Definitely. He always freaks out when he sees Miatas, so he's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, you know where they're at.